This is where it all begins. The plan is set. The work has begun. This isn't the future. This is now. No time for talking. It's time for doing. Pops a three. Good. These aren't your casual fans. These are Rutgers fans. People who stand by these leaders, who believe in these players, this community, this university. This is not just any basketball program. This is Rutgers basketball. No screen, Baker, step back. Guys, what we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna have you guys cook your own food. We have a, a fantastic sports nutrition department. That I have it made for you, we're gonna teach you some skills. Exactly what you need to do to do all this at home. Nutrition, I think, is just, it's coming along. It's the, it's the next new wave is, I think, we have athletes that come in, and, and just like most people, they're not educated on what they should eat, when they should eat, how much they should eat. All right, guys, we're uh, here at the Hill Center, you know, getting a little cooking lessons. So you want to make sure that you put three fingers, and you want to grip like this. <laughs> Are you all good down there? You just got, you got to make sure you spray your hand so that it doesn't stick to it. I'm about to flip it, though. My aunt needs some help cooking, so I'm trying to help him out. We farm his burger. Gene is sucking the juice right out of that one. I don't want a juicy burger. You know, I call it the Raptor. It is looking pretty good, man. You know, got a little help, but it was mostly me. He thinks it right. Oh, yeah. Can you flip it just now? Show him how you make your burger dry. Okay, okay, please. Look, he likes his burgers extra dry. So if you want a dry burger, go to my boy Nick. I'm gonna cut him right now while you're waiting. Mwah. Finished product right here. The Jersey burger. You put the cheese in the middle? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Jack's a chef. You know, the adage is you can't out-train bad nutrition, and it's, you know, it can be more true. Mm-hmm. Look at his. Hey, I got nothing on me. Whose burger is more attractive, mine or his? My burger is definitely more attractive. You see my burger at like a five star restaurant. Ron got a McChicken. McChicken. Ron right, got two McChicken. Ron got two McChickens on his plate. We're not going to put this in a video because now you're saying that. He's got two quarter pounders on his plate. That's what he's got on his plate, two quarter pounders. Well, you, my friend, your hands are getting sloppy and mine aren't. So just, just, just gotta appreciate the craft, Nick. I mean, is it really good? Mm -hmm. Gio, you're pretty good? Yeah. I'm not just saying that because I made it. Uh, that looks good. Mm. Your local New Jersey Audi dealers. Experience the 2019 Q5 SUV. Take a test drive today. Coca-Cola, taste the feeling. Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, the official health insurance partner of the Scarlet Knights. I think she inspired so many people, and I am one of those people because I grew up a little girl in Iowa following Iowa basketball. She was my first exposure to the game, and she is the person that really uh, inspired me to get better and recruited me and is one of the big reasons that I'm able to sit at this desk today because of what she's done for the women's game. Because I wouldn't be the woman I am today without Miss Stringer. She instilled a lot of values in me. And just to speak about the things she's gone through, it helped me in my life. If I think about what Miss Stringer's done, being strong, it helps me to carry on. She perseveres. She's a woman of great strength. 
both on the court and off the court. And as you can see with all the players that's come back to, to celebrate with her, she's more than a thousand victories. So don't worry about the damn crowd. Don't worry about anybody. Everybody wants to get on our backs now. The heck with it. We struggle through it. We dealt with it. It's time to show up. Oh, she just said, you know, make sure you're well prepared. Make sure preparation is the most important thing. And always, you know, just find a way to get it done. Don't have any excuses. Don't quit. Figure it out. And her famous thing was like, if you don't bring me a problem without a solution. So every, every now in my everyday walks of life, I just try to make sure if there's a problem, I got to find a solution. When you graduate, you know, you have a responsibility to look after each other. And I can give you a number of instances where a, a, a coach was a head coach. And yet she hired one of the sisters, whether she's come from Cheney or Iowa, you know, or, um, or Rutgers. Sway on everything. God is my witness. I love you so much and am so appreciative. I know that if a player is one serves as an assistant, they are extremely well prepared to be a head coach and would be, as an, if they were an assistant, uh, the person that is fortunate enough to have one of the players that's worked here as an assistant quickly knows that, oh, she pays great attention to detail. It means everything in the world to her because she knows what it is to work hard. She knows what it is to hear the truth, though you might not like it. We know the ultimate uh, price that you're gonna pay to keep loyalty and make sure that you, 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 you really support the success of the, of the head coach because she, after all, is your sister. And when you get an opportunity to do something, you're gonna reach back. I graduated three years ago, sport management major and was a manager for the program for three years. And it was the best experience of my life. Coach Stringer really helped develop me, get me ready uh, for the next level because she knew I wanted to coach. It gets no better than Coach Stringer. I mean, that's why you see so many of us that are successful outside of Rutgers. From coaching to whatever it is you choose to do. You know what I mean? There's, there's not much you won't be able to do, but it's not just gonna come. You see why players wanna play for her, and it's cool to be able to be coached by a woman of her caliber, developing younger women into more than just basketball players, so. Yeah, we have a responsibility to not come short in anything, in the way we present ourselves, the way we might do community service, the way we might work, you know, in, in terms of of, of our play, um, in our flexibility as a player, the way we respect and, 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 and support you know, our head coach. No, the Rutgers player, she's, she's different. And, and those Rutgers players at the next level have lasted far longer than the vast majority of players that are playing now. But it's because of what she's gone through here in preparation for that. the women as they battle in Big Ten play. Join us for this historic season at the Rack. Get your tickets at scarletknights.com. This year, the Rutgers women have turned the Rack into their own personal playground. A home record of 10-0 has had the fans on their feet and visiting teams searching for answers. But this would be a difficult test facing an Indiana squad which had gotten the best of them in recent years. The Rutgers Athletic Center in Piscataway. It's a Big Ten Conference matchup as the Indiana Hoosiers take on the 17th ranked Scarlet Knights of Rutgers. 
The Scarlet Knights of Rutgers coming off a tough two-game road trip, losing to a very good Iowa team and then bouncing back with a big win against Penn State. But Dom, Indiana is a team that the Scarlet Knights have struggled with over the past several years. In fact, the Hoosiers have won the last three straight against RU. The Hoosiers came roaring out of the gate and let the Scarlet Knights know they would not be intimidated. Indiana off to a good start. They're up by four at 6-2 Hoosiers. And then driving is Jalen Penn. And Coach Stringer wants a quick timeout here for the Scarlet Knights. The coach needed to send a message to her team early. She knew Rutgers was facing a physical team that had won 16 of their first 21 ball games, a team that was looking to spoil the Knights' perfect record at the rack. Inside carry gets position and scores. Good answer. And just what Rutgers needed, CC Cryer drills a three. There's Broughton, dribbles in, flips it back to, to Kia Mack, who puts it up and in off the glass. You could see and feel the intensity in this one. Except they throw it away, Broughton puts it in. Zippy Broughton with a huge shot. Cryer, nice job as she splits the defense and lays it up and in. That's an ankle breaker from CC Cryer. This Big Ten game continued to be a physical affair. Rutgers defense, Sharice Wilson picks the pocket and scores. The RU defense getting it done, creating some offense. And the Scarlet Knights down by seven. Here's Cryer, dribbles in, puts up a top shot, draws the foul. Cryer is doing what Rutgers needs to do. If the field goals are not going, if the layups are not going, go to the hole, attack the basket, draw the foul, hit some free throws, and that's how you stay in this basketball game. The Scorland Knights went into the locker room down by nine. They were down, but certainly not out. All year long, they had been a team that played a full 40 minutes and a club that finds a way to win. The challenge in this night for Hall of Fame coach C. Vivian Stringer was how to erase a poor shooting first half and mount a comeback. Well, C.C. Cryer, nice move there to break free and gets an open look. Hits the jump shot, cuts the deficit to 12. Cryer is single-handedly keeping Rutgers right around in this game. Rutgers down by 12. 43-31 inside to Carey, puts it in, and the foul. Good look into Stacia Carey, down to single digits. Uh, Cryer had an open Pelic Pelk. Noga Pele Pelk from downtown. <laughs> and it is a seven point game. Rutgers crowd getting into it a little bit. The offense started clicking and the defense stiffened. Gainey dribbles in, blocked underneath by Garantes. Rutgers draws to within six, 47-41. Yaney running the baseline, five-second violation. And they do come up with a steal. Garantes dribbles in, takes it to the hole, and scores! Scarlet Knights down by three. Calhoun pops a three, got it! Sierra Calhoun drills a three. The rack was rocking as the Scarlet Knights proved they were a resolute group, overcoming a 14-point deficit. The 55 press was executed brilliantly in the second half. CC Cryer had a career-high 22, and Stacia Carey just missed a double-double. Rutgers to the the delight of their fans here at the rack wins a tough one against the Indiana Hoosiers. Final score, are you 69, Indiana 64. Make no bones about it, this is the grittiest win for this top 25 Rutgers team. Everything went Indiana's way for the first half, but Rutgers, their head coach, Hall of Famer, thousand winner, C. Vivian Stringer goes to the 55 press and pretty much from that point on, the Scarlet Knights had the upper hand. The Hoosiers could never really find their balance. This is a huge win that Rutgers can be awfully proud of.
Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, the official health insurance partner of the Scarlet Knights. Nissan, proud partner of college athletics, innovation that excites. RWJ Barnabas Health, the official health care partner of Rutgers Athletics. Let's be healthy together. Carter cutting, this has some ups. Johnson, Harper, leading game three for Baker. We have to make this as tough a place as there is to play in the Big Ten, and the Big Ten is as tough a league you know, as there is in the country, the most fan attended for 42 straight years is Arlington. It's exciting to know that we're headed in that direction, too, with our fans here at the Rack. You know, Steve Peichel, three wins his first year at conference play, three wins last year. The slow and steady pace with which they have improved that program just doing a wonderful job. I mean, you just can't say enough about what he has done in his time there after coming over from Stony Brook. And he's doing it, laying a foundation, not, not trying with any kind of you know, quick fix solutions. You know, growing up in a, in a big family with nine, you know, siblings is challenging, you know? Uh, and I'm number seven, so there's a lot of challenges from one to six. All right, here we go, Cleveland, Flair. I started with a basketball at a young age and, you know, was really blessed to have some terrific coaches growing up. Then obviously at University of Connecticut, a Hall of Fame coach in Jim Calhoun, uh, you know, just they continue to grow my love of basketball. And, you know, when I was done playing, I was like, uh, you know, this is my life. And uh, I've been very fortunate and blessed then to take on coaching. I, I think everybody sees what Steve's doing. Uh, we're playing with an energy, with a hustle. Uh, of course, you want shots to fall and things like that. Um, but I think everybody sees the path we're on with Rutgers men's basketball program. Good job, good job, good job. Good boy, Gene, go ahead. Good job. And you just have to watch Steve on the sideline, the energy that he brings, the enthusiasm, the appreciation. He gave this crowd something to get excited about. I talked about Steve Peichel coaching up the fans. That's exactly what he's doing. Uh, that he brings to our fans and to our students who are in attendance. Um, very, very bright days ahead for Rutgers men's basketball. Rutgers trying to get that third conference win. You see the first two years in the Big Ten, they didn't win three. Then they got their third win on March 4th, last year February 13th, and trying to do it here today on January 26th. And that March 4th date and the February 13th date coincide with the guy in the middle of your screen and his arrival in Piscataway. You know, people trust him. Guys in the program trust him. They believe in him because he really is all in on them. You know, he really does care about uh, them as people beyond anything else. So that's that's something you can't fake or, you know, you just you can't replicate. It's just, just who he is. And that'll do it. Rutgers defeats number 16, Ohio State. And for Steve Peichel, it's his first win over a ranked Big Ten opponent. 64 to 61. The passion that he brings every day is unmatched by pretty much anything I've ever seen before. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's awesome to come to work every day knowing that his passion is going to be fueling what we do. Um, you learn something new from him every day, um, whether it's just sitting with him watching film or, you know, listening to him talking to staff meeting, listening to him deal with the players. Um, you know, he's just, he's first class all the way. With a well-earned victory here tonight, 76 to 67 as they knock off Nebraska. You know what, this program from, from day one, we had a great game plan, all right? Hire a great staff, get a roster here that wants to be at Rutgers University, get a roster here that's gonna overachieve. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. It's an exciting time for Rutgers basketball. Three in a row, beating three really good teams. Uh, Topping it off with a great win against Indiana. A lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. This team has played very well, and it's a Pikel type team. What I think we've done is we've generated some tremendous, you know, interest in, in the Rutgers basketball community. Develop players, make sure they graduate. Let's have a program that competes at the highest level and competes for NCAA bids every year. And then our guys go on to continue to play basketball beyond Rutgers University. And hopefully we continue to go in that same trend. And, you know, I'm just excited about, you know, the future with our young basketball team and where we could be in a few years.
This segment of the show is sponsored by RWJ Barnabas Health. Hi, I'm Dr. Yvette Rooks, Chief Medical Officer for Rob Wood Johnson Barnabas Health Sports Medicine. Connecting with others is very good for our mental health. Giving a call to a parent, a kid, a friend to cheer up their day will make you feel better. So during this time, please connect with others and put a smile on your face. I'm Eugenia Marie. I'm a junior here at Rutgers University, and I'm from Rexton, Ontario, Canada. Harper, the bounce to Omaruyi. Omaruyi to the rim with a left hand and scoops up and in. Strong kid, tough kid, heart and soul, X Factor. He's pretty much everything for this team. The transition's been the same coming from Canada to the U.S. I feel like it's the same thing, same environment. Everything's basically the same. It's just Toronto's a busy city, as well as New Jersey and New York being around the corner, so I feel like it's the same thing. I really like to play Division basketball in the 11th grade, the ending of the year. I got a few interests and a few coaches looking at me, so I felt like this is the right sport for me. And Peter Kiss <laughs> gets corralled <laughs> by Eugene Omaruyi oh. and yanked away. You know what that says to me? Look, Archie Miller's talking about looking for the leadership. That's what you're looking for. Yeah. That's the leadership you're talking about. When I first thought like, this is great, just because of the experience and them just having your back. I feel like that's good to help everyone's game and them just always being there whenever we need them. Being named team captain means a lot to me. Just knowing that I can lead the guys, I proceed with the young core. I feel like the coaches having faith in me just allows me to play better and just also have the guys' backs. That those other guys wearing the Rutgers jersey don't respect that guy? How could you not? I chose Rutgers over the other schools because the family atmosphere here, it being so close to home and just having my family and friends being able to come to the game to watch. In the morning, it's calm, and then all of a sudden, it's loud, and it's just great atmosphere. It's just a bunch of people coming in, cheering for the Scarlet Knights, and I feel like that's how, that helps us play better. Good move, good finish, Omaruyi. Steve Peichel has called him the ultimate leader by example. He is a warrior. Big Ten is the greatest conference. Uh, I feel like with the amount of firepower and the amount of teams in the, in the conference, it's a bang out every night. <laughs>